Hi, I'm Dr. Greg Castello, Board Certified Family Practice, and today we're going to talk about a pound of fat. Sounds like a biblical vengeance, but it's going to be a little bit more scientific today. Um, first off, nutrients, there's protein, there's carbohydrate, and there's fat. One gram of protein, one gram of carbohydrate have four calories per gram. A gram of fat actually has nine calories per gram, so it's more than twice as dense. A certain size protein may be 100 calories in this amount of protein. That same size or amount of fat would actually have over 200 calories, um, which is one of the dangers of fat is that it's very calorie dense for a certain size. You can eat a lot more fat before you start to get full. A pound is 454 grams. If you multiply 454 times 9, you get a little over 4,000 calories. So that means that a pound of fat is about 4,000 calories. So if you eat 4,000 calories too much, you gain a pound of fat. If you go to the gym and you burn off 4,000 calories over a week's time, you theoretically will lose a pound of fat um, based on the amount of nutrient or energy that's in a pound of fat. Um, if you go to the gym, pay attention to how many calories you're burning on your elliptical or whatever machine you're doing. Um, most moderate exercise is going to be about 600 calories an hour. Um, strenuous exercise like a six-minute mile or vigorous swimming is going to be up to 1,200 calories, but you're not going to be fat burning at that pace, so you want to plan on about 600 calories per hour for fat burning when you're exercising. If you start doing math and you say a can of Coke has got 150 calories, um, I have one can of Coke a day, that's 1,500 calories in 10 days, that's 4,500 calories a month, uh, that's a little bit over a pound of fat calories that you will ingest as Coke uh, every month. So if you eat and drink one can of Coke a day, um, that's 13 pounds worth of calories a year extra that you take in and theoretically if you cut that one can of coke out then you may lose 13 pounds in a year if everything else is exactly the same. Uh, when you exercise, pay attention or figure out how many calories you're burning and know how hard it is to burn a calorie. So if you decide you want to eat a Snickers bar and that's got 240 calories, that's about 25 minutes worth of exercise on the treadmill or the elliptical. And you have to ask yourself, is a minute and a half worth eating a Snickers worth 25 minutes on the gym? Or the opposite, if I didn't eat that Snickers bar today, I could actually sleep in tomorrow and not do 25 minutes of exercise and I wouldn't gain or lose any weight. Um, and when you look at it in that perspective, calories become very different to you and you are a lot more conscious about what you eat when you know what the actual expense of the calorie is and how hard it is to burn that off. Um, you can do body fat testing. That's a great way to see what you're doing at the gym. Um, as an example, I, a couple of years ago, had weighed 178 pounds. I was 18% body fat, which is actually fairly lean. It's pretty healthy at 18%. But when you do the math, 18% of 178 is 32 pounds. So a gallon of milk is 8 pounds. If you would imagine at 18% body fat, you look pretty good. I'm literally carrying around 4 gallons of fat on my body, on my skin, in my entire intestines, kind of gross sounding. So even though I thought it was pretty good shape, that was a lot of fat. Um, I got involved in watching Lost. There's 121 episodes, 46 minutes a piece. I burned about 450 calories per episode. I did it literally 121 days in a row um, and did the math. At the end of that 121 days, I weighed 163 pounds. Um, I was 10% body fat at that point, so that's 16 pounds of fat. I lost two milk cartons full of fat in 121 days or four months. If you multiply 450 calories times um, 121 days and then divide that by 4,000, that comes up with how many theoretical pounds of fat I burned and it works out to be about 14 pounds. So the math actually is very good. I lost 16 pounds of fat in 121 days. Uh, based on what the elliptical told me, I burned calories. It should have been 14, so that's actually a pretty good uh, number, and it's actually very impressive that you can lose fat and not lose muscle. So if you go back to my fat burning uh, video, I think I got pretty good evidence that that's an actual good way to do it. Pay attention to what you eat. Pay attention to how many calories you burn when you exercise. Burn it into your brain how hard it is to burn a calorie. Burn it into your brain how many minutes it takes to burn off a Snickers bar. You will find that once you're exercising, once you're going to the gym, you grab a cookie and you're going to put it down because it literally is stupid to eat that cookie when you're working your butt off at the gym. Um, for your health, Dr. Greg Castello, thanks for watching.